Hey girls, today is an exciting little collective haul. It's a bunch of products I really want to test out from Boots and also some of my usual picks, products that I know work really well. So do thumbs up and subscribe if you like these Boots hauls, if there's another brand you'd like to see me try out, and let's get into the video. So first is something quite random, not the exciting items definitely from this haul, but still something very beneficial. It's just a nail polish remover and it's Boots own brand. Again, Nail polish remover doesn't really matter where it's from. I think we all go for like the cheapest one because it's just for the sake of removing the, po the polish and color off our nails. Um, I did go for the one that's acetone free. So it's a slightly milder formula, which is gonna be, I think, a little healthier for the nails then. It's gonna be less stripping, a little bit healthier, I think. Um, I probably should have gone for one that's like fragrance free, but I don't know if Boots sells those. It's 200 ml. And I'm not sure of the price because I just needed it, so I just put it in my basket online. I would say it's probably one pound, something like that. And I did actually see one from Dior. I think it was like the Dior Apricot Nail Polish Remover. It had like a fancy name and it was 17 pounds. And I was just wondering like, I guess maybe it does have some like, you know, beneficial moisturizing effects on the nail, but I mean, 17 pounds for a nail polish remover just seems excessive. You're just paying for the name. So yeah, I'm definitely not paying more than like one, two pounds for it. And I have one of those nail polish removers where you dip your nail in and then it kind of like you scrape it against the little bristles. I think that's the most easiest way to do it. And yeah, and you don't waste any cotton buds, so cotton pads. So yeah, that was just something I needed to get for the future because I'm running out. I need to refill it soon. And then I have a couple hair care products. First one is very exciting. It's one I've not tried before and it's from Umberto Giannini. It's the Grow Scrub Scalp Scrub and it's a little pot like this. I actually used it last night and I feel like it gave me a little bit of nice volume, which I'm really happy about. Like my roots look a little volumized. And I think even though this is TMI and gross, I think I was getting dandruff. Um, like my scalp was a little itchy and I've not had that before. And I think probably I had dandruff a long time ago, but I never, like I switch up my products a lot. I'm quite healthy with my hair. I wash it regularly. I'm not really sure what the cause of that was. Maybe my scalp had like an irritation to something I was using and just, I got like an itchy dry scalp. I don't know what the issue was, but I knew I needed to buy like a scrub or something. So this one was highly rated and it's also vegan and cruelty free. I think it's 10 pounds and this is what it looks like. So I used it last night and it's almost filled to the brim, which I'm really happy about. So it doesn't have much of a scent, which I'm quite happy about. I wouldn't want it to be super strongly perfumed. And I'll give you guys a little overview of what it actually does. Oh, I didn't close it properly. But yeah, like I said, it is cruelty free and vegan. So I'm really pleased about that. And you're meant to only use it once a week as kind of like a treatment and it's instead of a shampoo because it lathers up and yeah, you just kind of like massage it into the scalp. It kind of acts as a shampoo and it's supposed to detoxify your hair. So it contains caffeine and black coffee seed to um, improve circulation, algae, which is healing and moisturizing, sea salt, which is obviously gonna detox and exfoliate. That's gonna be like the like granules. That's what gives it the, um, the texture. And then you've got Irish moss, doesn't really matter that it's Irish, but moss to soften your hair and improve quality, which actually I did notice, I feel like my roots were shinier, volumized, healthier, so I'm really pleased with the results. And also seaweed, which contains fatty acids and it improves split ends apparently. So it's kind of like an overall treatment. Again, you don't want to use it more than once a week, but it's a really good way to stimulate the scalp, like I said, improve hair growth and yeah, just improve the health of your scalp and hair follicles. So I think that one was 10 pounds and I'll probably repurchase it because it works really well. Like my scalp feels a lot better, it looks really good. And yeah, like the roots look really good. So I'm really pleased with the results of that. And then I have one more favorite, which I think I literally just mentioned in my empties. So I'm not gonna go over this in detail, but it's the Charles Worthington Moisture Seal Leave-In Conditioner. They changed the packaging. The previous one was all just like the shiny orange, but yeah, it's a nice packaging. It's very um, art deco, very pretty, really good for Instagram. And it's an oil rich damage repair treatment to nourish, strengthen and protect, which is obviously for dry and damaged hair. 
I it's I guess it's a treatment but I use it as like just a kind of leave-in conditioner and it's called a leave-in conditioner so I use it every other day just like as a normal serum normal oil after washing my hair when it's wet I always like to apply some something to the ends so this is this has been my go-to I think I, it's only my second bottle but the first one worked so well like it made my hair really shiny and soft and I really like the effect so it contains tons of extracts which actually you don't get a high concentration of because the top ingredients look kind of chemically however there's something in here that works really really well it does contain coconut tsubaki argan abyssinian and macadamia oil so it perhaps that does have some moisturizing effect on the hair and it did really look in better condition so i'm very excited to test this out i think this one is also approximately 10 pounds these are drugstore hair care brands, however they're more also salon brands, like you, they're the kind of brands you also find in salons, so they're mid price point, however I do think they are all still affordable for anyone, it's not so expensive that you can't justify it and it does last a while, they're not like one use treatments. And that one is also vegan and cruelty free if I didn't already say. So then I have some more random products. First one is a body lotion, which actually I have enough body lotion. I didn't realize this when I bought this, but it's from Maui, which is a hair care brand actually that I really love. And they do skincare now as well. And it's the, it looks exactly the same as the Shea Butter range that I reviewed in my empties previous video. And it's just the body version, I guess, but it's the Shea Butter Body Lotion for very dry skin. I love Shea Butter. I wanted something more natural with benefits to the skin. I wouldn't, no offense, but I wouldn't want to use something like Nivea or, I don't know, like some cheaper drugstore brand that doesn't really contain many natural extracts. And personally, I don't think it does much benefit for the skin, but this one has shea butter coconut oil macadamia oil and it's free from a lot of potentially damaging or kind of nasty chemicals and all of their um, ingredients list starts with aloe vera so it's going to be very soothing on the skin you've got um let me look at the top 10 i'll read you what um extracts they have you've got coconut water shea butter macadamia seed oil coconut oil sunflower seed oil so it's got a really really um impressive ingredients list this one retails for about seven to eight pounds it's not between six and eight actually so it's not a cheap product that you might just like pick up on a whim if you're on a budget or you'd prefer to maybe just buy a drugstore brand that is like two three pounds that's fine however i personally like these kind of brands better like the body shop, Maui, they just, I don't know, the ingredients and the fact that they're natural and cruelty free, they have good extracts. I feel like it's just gonna be a lot more beneficial for my skin and definitely not cause any kind of irritation. So that one was, I think, $7.99 but I personally am happy with that price point. The Body Shop ones are even more expensive normally and I would probably still purchase them so I just really like the composition and the whole brand ethics really. So next I have some very random products I'll just show you guys anyway. It's the Oral-B Floss. It's the Pro Expert Floss in Cool Mint. Um, you can actually taste the mint which I think is really nice so I use that every evening and I'd recommend everyone actually floss every day if you don't already it's really really beneficial for your gums and to have like yeah healthy gums which I think a lot of people don't realize the only thing is with Oral-B I was told my mom told me that it contains plastic so obviously the floss I guess is made from plastic I don't know which is not good that's not environmentally friendly so I might look into maybe some more sustainable brands from the drugstore for me personally, the kind of um, shape and width and everything fits really nicely for my teeth. Whereas other brands, I found that they were a little too thick and I couldn't really get in through my teeth. So this one for me personally is the best one and it's a little pricey. You do get 40 meters in every pack, so it lasts ages. However, it's about five pounds each. So, I mean, for floss that is kind of expensive, but it's so, you get so much like the length is so long that it's going to last ages and i paid six pounds for both they were on offer so yeah but like i said i won't repurchase them because they're just made with plastic so i think i can find a better alternative final product i have to show you guys is from ilaw and 
The last package of this I bought was completely different. They've rebranded a lot and it was definitely time I bought a new brow dye. Speaking of which, I used it this morning. I have literally no product on my brows and I personally think they look amazing. Um, I think the color came out really nicely. It makes them look a lot thicker and fuller. So let me know what you guys think because it's such an easy way to maintain your brows without having to apply any makeup. So this is the Dye Brow Kit. It's a permanent tint for brows. Don't worry, it's very easy to apply, very easy to wipe off. It's not like normal hair dye. It's obviously a lot lighter because it's made for the face. And I've never experienced any issues dyeing my brows. It's very, very quick. It takes me like five minutes. And yeah, it says under 15 minute application, lasts up to six weeks, up to 12 applications. So this one is in dark brown. I think the only shades they offer actually are dark brown and black. And I can't remember the price. I believe it was about eight, nine pounds, possibly a little bit more. However, it was 100% under 15 pounds. So again, super cheap. If you guys do enjoy, you know, going to the salon, getting treatments done, I would not discourage you from doing that. I think it's great to support you know, the beauty industry and salons and everything. And if I had ever tried it, I probably would be doing that regularly. I just love the at home DIY approach. And if that's you as well, then I highly recommend this because it's really made my eyebrows so much easier to manage. I don't have to apply makeup after using this on my brows. So I'm really pleased with that. And it's such an affordable way to do it at home. So that is everything I have to show you guys. I hope you enjoyed. I had, yeah, quite a few really great products here to show you and I can't wait to review my favorites um, down the line. So do thumbs up and subscribe if you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.